Hi, everybody, and welcome to Gulf Coast Wrestling. A tremendous uh, hour event coming up today. We have quite a bit coming your way. As a matter of fact, uh, why don't we get Al Roberts to tell us exactly what we're going to see on today's program. Okay, John, thank you, and uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Gulf Coast Wrestling. Our first uh, match this afternoon is going to be Matt Rivera against Dick Dunn. We've uh, got Diamond Lil and Princess Little Dove. Midget Girl's going to wrestle this afternoon. We've also got the Islanders against Ricky Fields and Georgia Sweet. You want to stick around for that. That'll be a two out of three fall uh, match. And we've got a standby match just in case we have some time left. The pro against Rip Tyler. And, of course, Al, the battle for the belts are getting a little more heated as we go on week to week. And we'll be telling you about all of those with special interviews with each of the wrestlers. But right now, let's take time out for this message. Do one fall with a 10-minute time limit. One fall, 10 minutes. Introducing in the corner to my right, weighing in at 229 pounds from Puerto Rico, Matt Rivero. Matt Rivera, his opponent, 222 pounds, East Lowry, Alabama, Dick Dunn. Dick Dunn. Larry Brock's a referee. One fall, 10 minutes. Okay, Al Roberts back, about ready to get underway. Uh, this is our first look at uh, Matt Rivera, and of course he's going up against the old peanut farmer himself, Dynamite Dick Dunn, and here is the action in the ring, and Al Roberts to call it for you. Thank you very much, John. Matt Rivera from Puerto Rico steps in with the side headlock to make the first move in uh, our first match in Gulf Coast Wrestling's edition here against Dick Dunn, 220 pounder from East Lowry. Been around a long time, knows all the moves about professional wrestling. Another side headlock. From the left side by Matt Rivera. Dick Dunn trying to break out of that hole. Can't quite do it as Rivera puts the pressure on now. Referee is Larry Brock. He asked Dick Dunn if he wants to give up already, and Dick Dunn says, uh uh. Rivera still with a headlock on Dick Dunn. As John said, this is our first look at. Rivera, but he comes in very highly touted. Dunn with a leg drop, takes him down for the count of one. Good move by Dick Dunn, breaking that headlock by Matt Rivera. They're in the ropes now. Dick Dunn forcing Rivera into the ropes. And there's the break. Nice takedown by Matt Rivera on Dick Dunn for the count of one. Rivera now has the arm bar on the left arm of Dick Dunn. Dunn drops down, breaks the hole, tries for the pin, but Rivera bridges out. Rivera goes back to the side headlock now from the left side. This is our first match, one fall, 10 minute time limit. Dick Dunn, locked down by Rivera. Rivera comes right back with that headlock. Rivera still with the advantage. Dick Dunn working on the chin trying to break it. Dick Dunn throws him off. Another body block. Down goes Dunn. Off the ropes comes Rivera. Over Dunn one time and comes right back into the headlock on Dick Dunn. I think Dunn was looking to uh, do a little body tossing there, but Rivera came in with a headlock and once again has the advantage on Dick Dunn. Dick Dunn picks up the leg, and of course, Rivera loses his balance and into the rope. Clean break. Matt Rivera and Dick Dunn. Rivera with a nine pound advantage. He's 229. Dick Dunn in there with a hammerlock. Came out of that one nicely to take advantage of Matt Rivera right now. Trips him and puts him down. Dick Dunn on top now with the uh, hammerlock from the top. Rivera is on the mat. Very near the rope. Referee Larry Block, uh, Brock over there checking. Rivera up on one knee now as Dunn puts some more pressure on that left arm of Matt Rivera. Now they go into the rope. Referee Larry Brock calls for the break, and there it is. Out to the middle of the ring again. Dick Dunn down and under. Here he comes up with a hammerlock. Good move by Dick Dunn. There's a takedown again, lifting that leg. And he comes down on top of that arm. 
referee Brock asking Rivera if he wants to give up, and he shakes his head no. You probably saw it. Dick Dunn now. Still with the advantage here on top of Matt Rivera. Rivera rolls to his back now for the count of one. Oh, almost the count of three, and he finally rolls on over. Once again, Rivera's on top for the count of one, the count of two again on Matt Rivera. The gun up in the knee comes into the left arm of Rivera. Rivera now trying to get up on one knee, does. Now they're in the standing position, Dick Dunn. With a hammer lock from the front side now, and he's uh, putting some pressure in there as he has that arm locked up pretty tight. You can see him lift up, actually picking Rivera off the map. Rivera, though, staggers and pushes Dick Dunn into the ropes. Referee calls for the break, and there it is, another clean break. There they go. Matt Rivera back to the headlock again. Dick Dunn with the body toss into the ropes. Rivera comes down with the block. Now with a headlock, takes him down for the count of no count yet. Dunn's elbow is off. Whoop, there's a count of one. His arm was off the mat as it came down. Rivera now has the headlock on Dick Dunn. Right in the middle of the ring. Matt Rivera with the advantage here as the advantage has switched hands. Uh, Two or three times so far. Again, a body toss. Dick Dunn with a leg trip. Down goes Matt Rivera. And Dick Dunn again comes up with the hammerlock from the top side. Ooh, there goes a knee into that left arm. Dick Dunn with the pressure on. That seemed to be Dick's uh, favorite hold in this first match while Rivera has uh, reverted to the headlock when he is in the offensive position. Rolling and rolling, they're near the rope. Referee Brock checks it out. They're very close to the rope. Dick Dunn with the advantage, talking to the referee, saying he's not out, he's still got the hold, and he's going to make sure he's in that ring. There you go, look at that pressure he puts on. Now Rivera reaches down and lefts that leg up. A toe hold by Matt Rivera. You could probably hear Dick Dunn answering the referee as he asked about a submission. Dick Dunn says, no, he does not want to give up. Ten minute time limit here in our first fall. Still the uh, toe hold being administered by Matt Rivera. Puts a little twist to it and now pulls back on the Left leg of Dick Dunn. No. Matt Rivera now has a leg blocked up and now he's working on the an arm bar on Dick Dunn. That's an interesting hold right there. Dunn unlocks his leg just enough to get Rivera into the rope and out of the ring, barely. He grabbed hold of that middle rope. He barely kept his balance, but the hold was broken. Good move by Dick Dunn as he was able to force Rivera out of the ring. Back in the middle now, Dick Dunn and Rivera into the rope. Clean break. Dunn. Take down into an arm bar. Dick Dunn with the advantage now. This is where he switched hands a couple of times. From, an excellent match. We're seeing some good holds and some uh, good execution. Dick Dunn, as we said, goes back into that hammerlock now, which seems to be his favorite hold this afternoon. You can hear Dick Dunn talking to Matt Rivera, saying, come on, give up, give up. But he's not. Dick Dunn still with the advantage. Rivera with the takedown on Dick Dunn breaks the hole. Good move. Chin lock now. Dick Dunn slips out and into that hammer lock again. 
Both men are up. Rivera, body down, kick down with a block down, goes Rivera. John with a kick down into an arm bar again. Good action by Dick John and Matt Rivera. Rivera breaks the hole, but Dunn comes right back with a kick down and the arm bar. One fall, 10 minute time of the match. Time limit's just about uh, coming up, I imagine. There's a front arm bar now. Takes him down with that. Both gentlemen's arms are locked up. Now Dunn putting pressure on the chin of Matt Rivera. For the count of two over here. There's a count of two again. Rivera raises that right shoulder, gets it off the mat. There's a count of two again. Dick Dunn now going from the uh, front side. There's a count of one. 30 seconds remaining in this first fall. They're near the ropes over here. And there's the break. Wrestlers shake hands in the middle. Has a headlock by Dick Dunn, pushes it into a, an arm bar from the rear side, trying for the takedown. Dick Dunn asking for the submission himself. That's it. That's it. That's our first match this afternoon. And hey, I'll tell you what, pretty doggone good. Dick Dunn from East Lowry, Alabama. And Matt Rivera, 229-pounder from Puerto Rico, our first look at him, and I hope you enjoyed it. Both wrestlers, an excellent performance up in the ring. A draw was the official decision. We've got more coming up for you in just a minute. Tuesday night in Mobile, Alabama, a special Mardi Gras card, also a special bell time, 8.30. The main event, the Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship match, Ricky Fields and Bobby Fields against the Islanders. The semi-main event will be the wrestling pro against Rip Tyler for the Alabama State Belt of Rip Tyler. The wrestling pro is with us at Mike's side and has a little something All to right, say. All right, let about. me tell you something, uh, Mr. John Goss. A couple of weeks ago, I put my bet up against uh, Terry Latham, two weeks running. Now, Rip come in here hollering he wanted a championship match. Uh, he think he could beat me. Well, let me tell you something. I want a chance at his belt. I, that's the only way that I'll ever give him a chance at my belt is I get a chance at the Alabama State uh, Belt. Rip. Tyler's got about 30 or 40 pounds on me, but I don't worry about that because let me tell you something. I am the Alabama, well, I will be the Alabama state champion just as quick as that match is over. Okay, don't miss that big card Tuesday night in Mobile, Alabama. Our next event, schedule one fall with a 15 minute time limit. One fall, 15 minutes. Introducing in the corner to my right from Richmond, Virginia, Diamond Lill. Diamond Lill. Her opponent from Cherokee, North Carolina, Princess Little Dove. Little Dove. One fall, 15 minutes. Okay, Al, looks like uh, we have quite an exciting match come up. All the uh, matches I've ever seen, of course, with the midgets involved are very exciting. And the midget girls, they just put a little extra flavor. Here we go. Take it over, Al. All right. Diamond Lear with the first advantage. It was Princess Little Dog in the corner there trying to uh, get ready for the match. But Diamond Lear said, no way. And now we're at it already. Our first look at the midget ladies in the 1977 Gulf Coast season. Into the turnbuckle. And uh, it's... Princess Little Dove down. Diamond Lil on the attack into the corner into the turnbuckle again. Princess Little Dove wasting no time. Forearm to the back sends Little Dove down through the ropes. Princess Little Dove is down and on the uh, tile floor here. Diamond Lil taking over right away. Princess Little Dove stunned. Trying to get back up into the ring, can't do it. She's kicked back out again by Diamond Lil. As you mentioned, John, there's uh, hardly a dull moment when these two get at it. Well, Princess Little Dove trying to get back in the ring, and her opponent's keeping her out. She's not going to defeat her out on the floor. But I tell you what, she's really bouncing her off of that terrazzo towel each time, Al. That definitely takes something out of you. She rolls under the little rope, the uh, bottom rope. Pull on to the midsection against the rope by Diamond Lil, and down goes Princess Little Dove. Front headlock by Diamond Lil. 
Diamond Lear with a foot to the chest. To Princess Little Dove. There's a right to the midsection. And it's Princess Little Dove again. A forearm to the chest. Down goes Diamond Lear. Through the ropes. The Diamond Lear holds on. She's still in the ring. Now Princess Little Dove's going to get ready. She was not completely undressed for this match. Now she is. And now she's ready. As you remember at the outset, she got attacked in her corner as she was getting ready. Drop kick. Down goes Simon Lill. She steps out of the rope. Little Dove says, no way. Lifts her through. Princess Little Dove to the attack. Body drop. Down goes Simon Lill. For the count of one, the count of two, she bridges out. Pinter's little dog coming back. There's a right to the midsection. And a forearm smashed to the back. Sends Princess Little Dove down now. Diamond Lil to the attack. By the hair. Flipped her once. Flipped her twice. Again. By the hair, no less. Into the rope. On top of the pin is Diamond Lil. The count of two, and that's it. Princess Little Dove bridges out just in time. Body slam by Diamond Lil, then a foot to the chin of Princess Little Dove. Diamond Lil signifying that she's ready. Into the ropes, using that rope to choke. Flips her back off. Referee Larry Block stepping in there. You better watch out. Diamond Lil with a choke right off the bat, right there. Picked her up, dropped her again. Princess Little Dove down. Diamond Lil with a foot to the back. One more time. From the back side, there's a chin lock. Now she's pulling the hair from this side. Referee Larry Brock couldn't see it. Yeah, he did see it, though, across to the break. Into the ropes again. There's a choke. Flips her back off and down goes Princess Little Dove. Diamond Lil with a foot to the forehead. Knocked down. Front side headlock now by Diamond Lil. Very close to a choke, but she slipped that arm up there just in time. Now she's pulling the hair. Referee Larry Broxley got his hands full. Caught him in the hair and called for the break. And on the break, a forearm. But there's a forearm from Princess Little Dove into the midsection. Oh, then a karate shot to the chin. And Diamond Lil is down. Princess Little Dove on top. Another one to the throat. <laughs> Princess Little Dove now on the attack. Up by the hair comes Diamond Lil. Coming for the body slam. Go oh, down, go. Oh. Diamond Lil. Headlock. And down. She comes. For the count of one, the count of two, the count of three. The Princess Little Dove, the winner. The Bulldog did it. The Bulldog did it, too. Diamond Lil and Princess Little Dove is the winner. Over Diamond Lil of Richmond, Virginia, Princess Little Dove from Cherokee, North Carolina. And an excellent match with the Midget Girls. We've got a lot more excitement coming up. Please stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute. Mobile, Alabama, a big special Mardi Gras card, a card of champions, and of course a special bell time at 8.30. It's going to be a Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship match. We'll come back to that in a moment. The wrestling pro will be facing Rip Tyler for his Alabama championship belt. Sonny King going up against the Super Assassin. Big John has a special match, and we'll talk about that one momentarily. Terry Lathan against Bad Boy Hines, and Phil Marder going up against Matt Rivera. Once again, the Islanders will figure in two big events. They're with us right now at Mike's side, and the first big event we're going to talk about is the fact that one of the Islanders was going to uh, go up against Big Bad John. This, of course, was ordered by the NWA a single match for you. What about it? Last Tuesday night in Mobile, we almost, almost break your back, John. 
And you know what? You got a lot of nerves challenging us and go over there and crying on the alliance to get us in a single match. I'm not going to tell you which one is going to wrestle you, John. Both of us is going to be in that ring. We're going to flip a coin, and we're going to let you worry about it. Believe me, you are going to worry about it. All right, the next big match we want to mention to you is the fact that the Islanders are going up against Ricky and Bobby Fields for the Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship belts. I know if you That's what the whole thing is all about. We come here to win money, belt, and beat everything that we can get our hands to. Now it's coming down to the nitty-gritty. It's just a matter of time. You people will see us wearing those beautiful belts around our waist because that's where they belong. What about the championship belt? Just like my brother said, we're going to go in there and get it, and that's it. That's what we came here. We're going to get it, and that's all. All right, once again, don't forget this big card coming up Tuesday night in Mobile, Alabama. The Islanders, of course, will be going up against Ricky and Bobby Fields for the Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship belts. Also, the wrestling pro going up against Rip Tyler for the Alabama State belt. Don't forget this coming up Tuesday in Mobile. In event... Ladies and gentlemen, our next event, a tag team match. Schedule best two out of three falls with TV time remaining. Best two out of three with TV time remaining. Introducing in the corner of our right with a combined weight of 580 pounds from the South Pacific, the Islanders. The Islanders. Their opponents weighing in at well over 300 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia Sweets. Georgia Sweets. His partner, 218 pounds from Mobile, one half of the Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions, Ricky Fields. Ricky Fields. Best two out of three TV time remaining. Thank you very much, Charlie Platt. And ladies and gentlemen, you, along with me and everybody here, are in for some excitement. Ricky Fields with Georgia Sweets, and what a hunk of man he is against the one of the toughest teams to come along here in the South, the Islander, Ricky Fields, with an arm drag to the takedown. Up quickly comes one of the Islanders. One more time, Ricky Fields with a takedown. Islanders complaining about the use of the punch. Islanders tag out. Referee Larry Bronx asking to watch the open fist and take down again by Ricky Fields. That's the fourth time, two times on each side, and they said, come on, come on. Ricky Fields, a man of terror there right now, working over the Islander. Here's a wrist lock by Ricky Fields, and he's putting the pressure on now. Ricky Fields with the advantage, he's had it. Now he comes with some more pressure to that wrist lock. Ricky Fields, of course, teams up with Bobby Fields. They are the current Gulf Coast Tag Team Champion. But he's got a man in his corner for this edition. A man called Georgia Sweets from Atlanta, Georgia. There's a tag. The Islander holding on to Ricky Fields, and Ricky breaks out! One more time with a takedown, the fans love it. Comes into the arm bar. Now he comes over from the side and continues to hold on to that arm bar on the Islander. Two out of three falls for this one. Into the rope. The break by field. Ricky Fields and the Islander comes in with a headlock to Fields. Now he switches, goes to the wrist lock. Good quick move by Ricky Fields. Comes down with an elbow in that thing and puts some pressure into it. There he goes. One more turn and down goes the Islander. Ricky Fields now with an arm bar. Hair used by the Islander, takedown on Fields. Now he works on the throat and looking for the tag out. He does tag out, Ricky Fields. In a, well, he wasn't in trouble, but he got back down and worked into the arm bar on the takedown. 
Ricky Fields showing some excellent quick moves. He's working over both these Islanders. Stretching that arm bar. He's got his knee into the hip. And he's putting some pressure. Still Ricky Fields now from the front side. Now has the uh, arm bar from the front. A knee on the break by the Islander has Fields done momentarily into the rope, comes back to an elbow in the chin, and down goes Ricky Fields, Georgia Sweets looking to tag out, Fields is done running around, still trying to get away, rolling, 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 Georgia Sweets is in the ring, Ricky Fields takedown. Georgia Sweets made sure that the Islanders did not get a rolling Ricky Fields. Stretching that arm bar is Ricky Fields just where he left off on the left arm of the Islanders. Tag out by the Islanders into the rope, the double! Down goes Ricky Fields. He caught it in the chin two times into the rope. Body drop on Ricky Fields, has him stunned, but May comes back with a right to the midsection, tags out, Georgia Sweet comes on in. Here's a big man, Georgia Sweet, on the Islander, headlock, and he's gonna put some pressure on that head, I can tell you that. Oh, down goes Georgia Sweet. The Islander has him down, up, down he comes, looks for the pin of one, two, three. Georgia Sweet looks like he's out of it. Brought him right down on that neck, Al. Brought him right down on the neck. From up high, he carried him right on back. And Georgia Sweet looks like he is uh, out of it momentarily. But the, uh, the fall belongs to the Islanders. The fall belongs to the Islanders. Georgia Sweet is being helped out of the ring by his partner, Ricky Fields. There's still a uh, fall to go, at least as is, of course, a two out of three. The Islanders winning the first one over Ricky Fields and Georgia Sweet. We've got more coming up in just a minute. Right, right here in Mobile, Alabama, a big special Mardi Gras card, a card of champions. Bell time, 8.30. Two real big main events there with the belts at stake. But one of the events we want to tell you about, Big Bad John with the NWA sanction going up against one of the Islanders in a single match. John, you finally got John, what you want. John, that's not, uh, you know, let, let me rephrase that what you said just a touch here. It's not an NWA sanction. It's an NWA ordered match. It's an ordered match that one of the Islanders is going to have to get in the ring with me for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes, now, I don't know if you people know, I'm six foot seven, I weigh 340 pounds. I fought both of them dudes as hard as anybody can. I've had a little trouble with partners, this, that, and the other, Zabada, but I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this, when we crawl in the ring, it's gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. That means flex your muscles as hard as you can flex them. Eat all the raw fish you can eat before you get there. Because I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a bunch of protein, brother. Bunch of protein. Because when I get in the ring with one of you dudes, I don't care which one it is, makes me no difference. Now, I'm not going to go into a long, long drawn-out story, John, about how they come into my motel room, took a two-by-four, whipped me across my back. Look at that. Took two discs. Two discs out of my lower back. I'm a fourth and fifth lumbar, but I'm going to tell you this. There is a reckoning day coming. The reckoning day is going to be Tuesday night in Mobile, Alabama. And when I get a hold of you, I ain't going to turn loose. I'm going to whip you for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to give the police and everybody another 30 minutes to get me off of you. 
Don't forget now, that's Tuesday night right here in Mobile, Alabama, special Mardi Gras card. Standing by to go up into the ring for this match at this time, and Big John is up there. As you can see, Al, uh, what is the condition well, of the Georgia, Georgia Street? Georgia Street is not going to be able to contend anymore. Okay. John is stunned. taking off his ring and his watch, That's and he's right. going up, he's going up into Listen. the ring. Listen, we stand to wrestle his tag team. We done beat him. We done beat his partner. We don't need you, John. Now listen, John, you stick to your nose in just a little bit too far. You didn't sign to wrestle with us. We signed to wrestle with that Georgia, what you call Sweet Georgia. We done break his neck. Now we don't need you. If you want us bad enough, put your name in the list because you're... Coming over, pounding away, and the island is backing out. Ricky Fields and Big John both wanting him to come out. They are not coming out, though apparently they're not going to wrestle uh, Big Bad John as a partner here of Ricky Fields. Georgia Sweets was hurt, as we told you. He came down from the suplex up high on the back of his neck. That, of course, being administered by one of the islanders. He has been hurt bad, and Big John's coming up into the ring. Let's go. Come on, says Ricky. Let's go, the crowd. It's cheering. They want the Islanders. Rocky McGuire is coming out, going over into the dressing room. Is that going to be it? It's white. Islanders awarded the match. We told you before, we don't want the match. We don't win it now, we don't beat them. What more do you want? Big John, your day come. Your day will come. We're going to hurt you so bad that you won't be able to come up here and run your mouth off like you always do. Listen, listen, John, we are sick and tired of you sticking your, sticking it. John, we're going to catch you, John. You just try one more time, we're going to kill you. We're going to kill you. You're doing the best thing you do is running your mouth out there, John. Now we're going to suck every breath out of your body. You are. You scared? We ain't scared of you, we ain't scared of nobody. Just remember that. Big John and Ricky Fields telling them to get up in the ring. The Islanders refusing. They're leaving. They have been awarded the match. That is the end of this match. One fall, of course, being won by uh, the Here's Islanders the against Ricky Fields. That's it. That's it. And That's Big the John saying, no, Ricky Fields is the winner. And Al, that may be the case. Here but uh, nevertheless, we're going to have to break it off at this point because the match is over. It has been awarded to the Islanders. They are the two winners, according to the official Larry Brock. We're going to be back with more action in just a moment. This coming Tuesday night, right here in Mobile, Alabama, a big card, a special Mardi Gras card, 8.30 bell time, the Gulf Coast Tag Team Championship match between Ricky Fields and Bobby Fields, the champions going up against the Islanders. Also, the Alabama Championship belt of Rip Tyler will be at stake against the Gulf Coast champion, the Wrestling Pro. Sonny King takes on the Super Assassin. A special 15-minute match will see Big John getting one of the Islanders, and the Islanders, of course, will toss a coin at ringside to see who will wrestle Big John. Terry Lathan taking on Bad Boy Hines, and also Phil Marder going up against Matt Rivera. Don't forget, that's this coming Tuesday night in Mobile. Once again, that big special main event, Ricky Fields and Bobby Fields, the current Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions, going up against the Islanders. Also, the Alabama Championship match with Rip Tyler, the current Alabama champion, going up against the wrestling pro, the current Gulf Coast champion for the Alabama belt. Don't miss it. Tuesday night right here in Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, our standby match schedule one fall TV time remaining. One fall TV time remaining. This is a non-title match. Introducing in the corner to my right, weighing in at 236 pounds from the Southland, the current Gulf Coast heavyweight champion, the wrestling pro. The wrestling pro. His opponent, 265 pounds from Canada, the current Alabama state champion, Rip Tyler. Rip Tyler. One fall TV time remaining.
Okay, Al Roberts, back again. Just a little bit on that last match. The crowd here in the studio quite upset about the fact that Big John, of course, uh, was not permitted to wrestle as the partner there of Ricky Fields. Uh, the Islanders were awarded the win. Some people felt this was uh, not right, but of course, uh, you and your partner must be able to come back out and continue the match. That is the ruling, and uh, they do not have to accept your substitute partner if they don't want to, and that, of course, how the decision was made. The Islanders did not have to. Frankly, I would love to have seen them uh, continue the match myself, just like the people here in our studio audience. That's a, I don't know why they won't fight Big John, but uh, they're going to one day. They've got right. to. All right, we've got a match in the ring right now, our standby match, TV time remaining, and I'll tell you what, you talk about two heavyweights, two, two real professionals, there they are, the wrestling pro in the white, of course, against Rip Tider. Rip Tider, the Alabama State Champion, and the uh, pro, the Gulf Coast Champion. Of course, this is a non-title match. But it's going to be an exciting one. TV time remaining, our standby match, the wrestling pro, and Rip Tider. Rip Tider has his leg in the rope. And the break is forced. Pro coming up for a body slam. Down goes Rip Tider. Oh, Lord. Wrestling pro on top of the count of one, the count of two, but the foot is on the rope. And Rip Tyler has a moment of reprieve, and on the vague break, the wrestling pro puts a knee into the chin of Rip Tyler. Two of the champions in the ring right now, Al, of course, Rip Tyler, the current Alabama champion, and the wrestling pro, the Gulf Coast champion. And you're going to see some real moves in this. They're really going to try to show each other which one is the true champion. Well, I guarantee you, it looks like two bull elephants going out there against each other. They are. When they hit the mat, they hit the mat, and you can hear it about a block away. Good tighter now with the advantage as he has the uh, leg locked up of the wrestling pro. Comes down with a knee and the toe hold. Good tighter with the advantage on the left leg of the wrestling pro. Of course, we mentioned he is the Gulf Coast champion. And Rip Tyler, the Alabama State champion. This is a non-title match. We'll remind you one more time. Tyler still with a toe hold and putting some pressure on it. The pro kicked him off. Off the ropes comes Rip Tyler back into that. Now he has it locked up. Rip Tyler with a good move there to lock up the left leg of the wrestling pro. Referee Larry Brock asking the pro if he submits. And the pro shakes his head no. Rip Tyler still working on the left leg of the wrestling pro. There's the toe hold now. Steps over one time. And then Tyler comes back down on it. Just stretches that knee. Referee is still asking the pro. And the pro says no. Rip Tyler now with the advantage using the ropes. I believe he caught him. Yes, he did. Larry Brock caught uh, Rip Tyler using the ropes for a little leverage on that toe hold. On the break, he puts the knee into the thigh and then comes right back to step in. The referee Larry Brock still asking the pro if he submits. What to say, and speaking of champions here, Al, that uh, for those of you who do not know, uh, the NWA has a new world heavyweight champion. The uh, bout taking place not uh, oh, just several days ago up in uh, Montreal, to our understanding, Harley Race. Harley Race defeating Terry Funk. He is the new NWA heavyweight champion. And of course, uh, the holder of the belt. And Harley Race had that belt for a short period previously, but again has taken the uh, NWA belt. Terry Funk held it for a long time. and uh, Well, quite some time. Of course, Jack Briscoe held it a little longer, I think, than a Terry Funk had. All right. Wrestlers locked up now in the ring. It's Rip Tyler and the wrestling pro in our standby match. The reason we want to mention that, Al, primarily is the fact that uh, we hope to, in the near future, according to uh, Lee Fields and Rocky McGuire, hopefully have this... Uh, match in in which the belt changed hands uh, with these two great wrestlers, Terry Funk and Harley Race. Well, the pro, that's for sure. Right now, the pro working on Rip Tyler. Pro working on Rip Tyler. For the count of one, comes into an arm line. Arm bar on Rip Tyler by the wrestling pro. 
Now he stretches it. Wrestling pro with the advantage on Rip Tyler. Referee, of course, always asking the wrestlers if they will submit. Just about every hold in wrestling is a submission hold. You've got to be strong enough to take it. Rip Tyler now in a uh, little agony as the pro has that arm bar on him, but the, the ripper now working on the head of the pro, trying to pull him over. The pro puts a little more pressure on that arm bar and forces the ripper to uh, release. Again, the ripper now up on one knee. And still the pro with the advantage on that arm line. Into the rope. Body block, down goes the ripper. Down goes the pro. And the pro comes right back out of that into the arm bar on Rip Tyler. Rip Tyler. Front body dropped by the pro, or by the uh, Rip Tider, but the pro bounced out of that and comes back with the advantage on Rip Tider. Working again on that left arm of the Ripper is a wrestling pro. Referee Larry Brock still asking the Rip if he submits. Each time he does, the pro puts a little more pressure into the rope, goes the pro. The rip misses the right. Down comes the pro with a takedown into an arm bar. It's a count of one. The ripper rolls over the pro on the count of two. Now the wrestling pro yells, grabbing my tight. Count of one again on Rip Tyler. Tyler again rolls the pro over for the count of two. And again, the pro complains of the use of the tight. The arm bar from the front side applied by the wrestling pro on the left arm of Rip Tyler, the count of one. Tyler raises his shoulder. Wrestling pro up on one knee now. Al, speaking of... Um Champions again, of course, the former junior heavyweight champion, Ken Mantell, which was in our area, oh, several months ago. We want to announce at this time that uh, he'll be making his appearance very soon on studio wrestling right here. He'll be wrestling in the Gulf Coast area. And we're really look looking forward to having Ken Mel Mantell wrestling in our area. And once again, of course, he was the junior heavyweight champion for quite some time. So. Uh, we're looking for the very best wrestlers possible coming into the Gulf Coast area, and they will be here, and Ken Mantell is one of them. Excellent, excellent. A lot to look forward to here. Wrestling Pro now working on Rip Tider. And standing out now with me are the Islanders. You know, you're looking at the two, one of the two top professional wrestler heavyweights in the ring right now. Uh, I understand one of them guys hold the Alabama state belt and the other one hold the golf coast. Well, we're here for one reason, which is like to check them out because it's just a matter of time. My brother and I feel very strongly that uh, look at the beautiful movie just made. Anyway, what we're here for is money, belts, single belts, tag team belts, and anything that we can get our hands on. Now, like I said, those two guys are very tough guys, but they lack a little thing that is really little better than they are. And, uh, it's just a matter of time for us before we can really, really get down and take both of them guys out away from them. Individually? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. You know, I remember uh, way back uh, a year ago, I think, and uh, I'm uh, the pro. Uh, when we was up in the Atlanta around there, uh, we heard that this man broke somebody's back up there, and he's a very tough man, yeah. And Rip is well known up in the Orient and uh, Philippine all over there. So they both good, good wrestlers. They both strong and uh, uh, they're not. You you can't play around with them. Too. Uh, these two are very know what they're doing. They 
They've been in the wrestling business all their life, and they're tough. Look, so, look at that. Look, that's a good uh, move right there. It's showing how much experience that Bo got. And, of course, uh, you can't take anything away from this guy. He's uh, very competitive, and uh, we sort of like looking forward for a chance for us to go against him. Well, as you know, Rip Hall is the Alabama State belt, and uh, the pro is the uh, golf coach champion. That's right. Uh, you know, uh, like my brother say, we're going to take the tag team belt, and uh, we're ready for both of them. You know, uh, uh, we don't mind uh, representing uh, Alabama. We, you know, we uh, we take it. You know, we take any belt. Single belt doesn't matter, you know. They're good. They're good wrestlers. Ain't no doubt about that. It's just, like I said before, we're just a little bit better than them. I think we are. Well, we look forward to a match against those guys, then. So if you don't mind, we'd like to stick around here and watch the match. Quite well. It's the Rip Tyler now with uh, the advantage. As the Islanders will stand right here and will observe these two gentlemen. You heard them mention that they want their belts, too. Tyler, of course, the Alabama State Champion. The pro of the Gulf Coast Champion. And these two gentlemen are definitely going at each other. Now, with a backbreaker comes. The pro has a very, very mean way of doing that. Wrestling pro now. Body stand down, he comes. Man, take the small man who takes the kind of one, the kind of two. Two hundred and fifty something pounds to down on the, on the ground like a big one. That's going to be it. That's the time remaining. Like I said, it was a good match, but I feel this very strongly that we're better than they are. And one day we're going to be here with them belts, and we're going to show to these people that we can deserve the right to have those belts. Thank you. Well, they the, aren't bell, the bells sound, Al. And they're, they're still going in. Yeah, right, right. They're not stopping the Islanders. Uh, seeing how strong they are, of course, uh, certainly recognizing that these two men do hold the belt, do hold the belt at this time. One of them, of course, the Gulf Coast, the other the Alabama. I tell you what, it takes a while for these two gentlemen to wind down, and it did take a time right there. But uh, referee Larry Brock, of course, got a call of the draw, but uh, neither referee wants to leave the ring. And, uh, well, that's about it anyway. That's Wait. it. The match is over. We're going to try to get them out of there. I don't know if we can. Uh, while we're looking on here, Al, why don't you give us a rundown of exactly what took place today on, on closing out here. And uh, uh, closing out with a fantastic match on top of that with oh, two real champions. Fantastic. As you saw the match you just saw, Rip Tyler and the wrestling pro wrestling to a draw, and what a draw it was. The match right before that, the Islanders were awarded a tag team match against Ricky Fields and his partner, Georgia Sweets. Georgia Sweets was taken down with a suplex. Uh, he came down hard. He was not able to continue the match, and according to NWA rules, the Islanders did not agree to the new partner that Ricky Fields had picked out, who happened to be Big John, and uh, they decided they would not have any more of that. They had the legal right to do that, and they were awarded the match. And then the uh, Midget Girls, Diamond Lil and Princess Little Dove, an excellent match you saw this afternoon, and of course Dick Dunn and Matt Rivera in our first match was a draw. Well, that was it. A lot of excitement on Gulf Coast Wrestling, of course. We hope you'll be back with us next week at this